Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Node.js with MySQL APIs. This is our part number 17. Inside this video session guys, we are going to write our query to get data via parameter ID. It means that we are going to pass some parameter inside our URL. So on the basis of that URL actually, we will filter our data something like user and if you pass one here then automatically it will give only about the first data of id1 again if we press something 4 then it automatically takes the fourth number id and populate that so we are going to make query of something like that so back to editor so in the last video we had written our first query to list all the data from our table and also we had created our database table which basically stores four rows for now so if i back to code editor now let's say that again if i make where condition inside this query let's say where id equal to four save these changes note more behind the scene automatically restarts the server and if we press or reload this page now we are getting the fourth number id only but this time inside this video we are going to pass this parameter on this url instead of hard coding inside this query so get rid of this fear condition now let's say that if we put one line comment so get data via id and also if we save these changes reload this page now we are getting all the data so simply let's say app dot get inside this our route is something let's say user and here we are going to put our id so user placeholder for the id that is id we are going to pass the callback function which basically takes a request and the response object. Now inside this, we are going to write our query. So let's say query. And we are using the same connection variable we had created inside our previous video session. So connection dot query. Inside the first parameter, we are going to pass our first value that is query. So let's say select all from tbl underscore users let's say where id equal to and here i'm going to put our placeholder that is question mark and here the value will come dynamically so all we have to do we have to store like where id equal to or let's say user id equal to and all the parameters if we pass inside our url so all that data data actually we will get inside this request variable so let's request dot params dot id so simply we will get our id means if we back to browser so if we pass any id inside this browser something two something four something three so all this value is going to be stored inside our variable called user id because it will come as id from this request variable request.params.id so simply we are going to store inside this user id variable so we need to pass here so let's say user id so inside this callback function the first parameter as we had seen about error second we have to pass for the results and the third for the fills now back to block so let's say that if we have some error so let's error so simply i am to throw at console else simply let's response dot json and putting results variable inside it so if we save all these changes back to browser and the first route that is listing all the users copy this route open a new tab pasting it here and let's say that user we want about third number id 
So when we pass this three number ID, it is going to be stored via this inside this user ID passing into the query and putting here. So it will select from the users table where ID equal to three. So back to Chrome, enter our page and as we can see that we are getting only three number ID. So in the same way, if we pass the second number, we are getting about the second number ID. Again, if we pass about the first, we are getting the same, the first result data. So in case, if we pass the ID something called 100, and as we know that this ID does not exist in our table. So in this case, it is going to re return the empty data. Why we are not getting any error? It's because if I back to MySQL, open SQL tab and simply write, let's say, select all from TBL users where, let's say, ID equal to 100. So if I press Ctrl Enter to run, now as we can see that we have no row. This time from the MySQL side, we are not getting any error. So that's why Node.js application also returning no error with this ID. So again, if we pass one, now we have the data. So simply guys, we have made two queries for now that is selecting all the data from our table as well as bypassing our user ID inside our URL. We are going to filter our data. So again, to check in Postman, so back to Postman, copy this route, open a new tab, pasting it here. This is get request type, user pressing three, send button. Now this is the data. So simply, this is our second API we have created by using MySQL, which lists a particular user bypassing user ID in the URL. So inside this video session, guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.